Good morning, everyone, and welcome to today's Cast on the Fly as we are producing content on the fly with no direction of education, except to let you know that the way society is gearing and headed toward is a mass catastrophe of trending thought, thought patterns, keeping each and every one of you on a leash of controlled thinking to only allow the elite, I call it the elite, but I really don't feel, feel like they're elite. I think they're trailer park trash with a high, pr uh, high price ticket or a fancy dress with a fancy house behind them that looks ridiculous. Although in their delusional mind, they think it looks successful. And then they try to make other people feel like garbage. But you wanna understand that these people willingly participate in the activities such as what we saw with Gary V as I've been rigorously producing thousands of pieces of content for his business to succeed. And he had the blatant disrespect to post that piece of those several pieces of content that he's posted to assist his so-called diamond fiance in succeeding in her business so that he can look good on a platform for a bunch of people that are fucking animals. So you wanna really understand that that group of people at the white party, including Michael Rubin, are in the Ponzi scheme. So let's go to the thoughts around the Ponzi scheme. We wanna know the Ponzi scheme is surrounded by trash heap women who are all anorexic, model-esque women who were in the past behind the scenes and would kill each other and their spouses while looking sporadically on gala, gala carpets and things like that. However, that wasn't enough for them to have the money, the looks, the man, and the ability to live as a stay-at-home wife. Now they want clout and fame to make themselves validated versus dealing with their own concerns. And you are the validators as audience because you want that lifestyle, but that lifestyle is really not, not a good lifestyle. So let's say that Gary V wants be kind to be in network as a trending topic. He posts a video piece of content about be kind and they send an email out to all of his cohorts that were trending the topic be kind. But that's not logical when you're dealing with this type of network, but you as a low life, know that you're irritated and angry at these people. So be kind becomes your vulnerability and the woman who's not kind doesn't give two shits about be kind, but she's feeling her content on be kind. And so you get angry at this bitch. And so what she does off of Gary's connection is he's getting high off my supply and then he's giving it out as a gift to all of his cohorts, which are scumbags. They're making millions of dollars. I'm making zero dollars. And then I retaliate because I'm finally, I finally have a fucking, had a fucking enough. And then they pull the be kind card and then they try to create vulnerability in me. Now that used to work in the past because I lived and I live in the real world of what it really means to be a business entrepreneur person. However, these people don't. These people do not. And so all he does is he talks to the 1% when you're his customer. And then he shows you who he really is, but then he says, be kind. So when people show you who they are, you better listen to who they are, not just by what they're saying. So that he can buy the jets and she can live in fantasy world while depleting the food source and society by living as a Shaw. What I'm saying to you is what happens in evolution of long-term is we have infants. We saw what Kim Kardashian was capable of when no one put a lid on her shit. 
And we got all these people running around that are nasty as hell. I mean, if you really took a look at this year's white party, they all looked like washed up road hard, you know, like the saying uh, road hard and put up wet. Like you literally can see and feel the misery coming off those people, but they're still fighting for the glamor of it. Notice the, the, the veil was lifted this year. And then Gary Vee posted the veil again with Mona Van's help to stop me in my tracks from assisting you as an audience. Now, what does that say about Mona Van? Because she posted the content. He then did public relations by telling you that it was an AI imagery video. I'm sorry, but that was not an AI imaged video. Not to mention she looked like a, a slime ball, a prostitute. It looked like prostitution is really strange. All white, is it weird that she always wears white? I always point to her as in Mona slut because she is literally showing you and it's easy to spot how she's up to absolutely nothing while she calls herself a doctor. Now back to this storyline here. If be kind, it becomes the new norm in society, but no one's actually being kind, but you wanna be an influencer, You've created vulnerabilities in this one. You've created a weapon in this one. And the evolution of be kind becomes terrorist acts, which is what we're seeing with Monavan. A civilization that just doesn't work because these people don't want to live in reality and have real conversations that people actually do get pissed off. They want to use their looks and their status to guide you into specific ways of thinking so they never have to take a look at themselves for what they're up to in the form of you're a violent criminal. Motivan's a violent criminal, although it may not look like it to you, but every piece of content that she produces downplays you as a human being. You're not in elementary school. <clears throat> you're not in elementary school, yet she talks to you like you're in elementary school. A physician, a doctor, a pharma D, she says. She doesn't live in the real world that pharmacy is a concern for education. She talks about, should we have nameplates at dinner for an eat clean party with an Indian woman whose husband has rampant periodontal disease. And for some reason she had the fucking balls to talk about the dentist. I'm going to tell you right now, little Indian lady, every Indian has periodontal disease, especially if you're from India. And especially if you've never done proper home care. And that's fucking nasty for you to say that on camera. Especially in the presence of a, of a Persian who speaks Farsi. And it's fucking rude as shit to your husband. Because that's called HIPAA violation. And the fact that she posted that shit tells you she ain't no real fucking doctor. So what these people are trying to do is they're trying to make elite circuits out of Hamptons, which is all Democrat, by the way. Kamala Harris has a house in the Hamptons. We saw Gail King at the Hamptons white party. All Democrats, the people that they're supposed to be taxing, who are keeping money in the Cayman Islands, while not paying taxes, like Mona Van, who isn't a real citizen and hides her money in Canada or wherever she hides it. And reminding you how she cried about Iran and the dangers of what Iranians were up to in one video, went on a riot in American streets and the borders were open for people to travel to Turkey. You do know that Turkey is close to Iran, right? that tells you everything about what that woman is and is up to. Nasty, disgraceful, grotesque be behavior. And it's all on video. And you're involved in it, Gary Vee. Because you just always are so fucking happy, aren't you?
You want to take a look at what entitled looks like? Go look at Gary Vee. That's fucking entitlement while he proclaims himself to be humble. Delusion and humility, that is not being humble, is it? You getting glorified at VCon 2022 from somebody who proclaims humility? That's not normal conversation between two people, but you're delusional as an audience because you're all searching for your bag instead of earning an education to help other people, which is the whole purpose of the business. So you want to understand the lowest of the lower at the top of the elite, like the D'Amelios, like Alex Earl, because they got tits and an asshole and a shoe chew who allowed their shit to go viral. And then Gary Vee has the fucking nerve to tell us that we all have an opportunity to be fake. Because the consensus of the network of brainwashing is telling people to be kind and be vulnerable so that motivating can strike at any moment and tear down your businesses while pretending to be so sweet. While Gary Vee kisses her awkwardly and erotically in front of a big ass house with Mel Melissa Wood standing by. That is not normal behavior for any person who's one, a professional or two, in a relationship of real authentic relationship status. Now that's called a fucking bitch and his little fucking bitch. I love how she wore a cape. How fucking gross. Noting that everyone at that fucking party had the same fucking outfit on. The point of this conversation is if trending topics deal with... <coughs> 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 emotions you want to get it's emotions for themselves selfish emotions of things they don't even fucking understand so all these fucking whack jobs are 25 28 no education went viral overnight talk shit about college talk shit about this and talk shit about that to fuel their egos they talk about ego. They convince you in a form of acting that they're good people. They're not good people. Government's involved because they're seeing it as an opportunity to grow their so-called voting bullshit. These are your children. Alex Earl's parents. These are your children who are destroying our planet. So everything that you work for in this country of the United States of America, your daughter and your son are trying to destroy family so that she can look hot in a white outfit with her tits hanging out. So you got a free, a free ride into this country and your son is standing in front of a big ass house bragging about he's a great entrepreneur. Yeah, because he's Russian. He pushed his way in and then he manipulated people around him with his bullshit on be kind. Well, then he invited a Persian into Americans' lives. Well, he's not American. He's fucking Russian. Well, they all got together and told us that inequality existed. Yeah, because you are not from America. And because you black folk, you black job people, the surgeon... Because you're insecure and you're fucking clueless and you're a fucking slave to your black culture. Surprise. The reason you're still enslaved is because you enslaved yourself. So your business at this point should be tanking. I don't give a shit what you think about yourself and your fucking skills. But you're not a real man, you're not a real American, and you don't want to help those less fortunate than you because the black jobs are talking about are the poor people that you turned your back on. So while all these people are trending with opinion after opinion after opinion, it's all self-righteous shit. 
which becomes a form of truth to the asleep, which you call the woke culture of trannies and individuals who are up to absolutely nothing in their life, except running around and going like this with their titties mona van. Literally her showing you her purse with rocks in it shows you that she is full of rocks in her whole gut. That's not hot. She's a pretentious bitch, and you literally show it every fucking time you post a piece of content. And then her comment sections are, wow, look at how great they look together. Look at how great, look at how shitty he looks. But he doesn't say anything, so I mu he must be happy. You're a fucking pathetic excuse for human beings because you're a fucking low-life trailer park trash. So what happens when you're born with a silver spoon up your fucking ass? Fucking delusional and fucking clueless. And the rest of you are just fearful to fight the shit. But guess who isn't? So now we have a bunch of robots running around. Little millennial Gen Z robots. You do know that millennial Gen Zs are fucking robots, right? Standing in front of the dude who goes to the colleges with brave ass shit to stand in front of your little pussy asses who want to talk about equality and gender roles. You're fucking idiots. You're not only ruining your life, you're ruining infants' lives, yet you're so fucking selfish you're caught on camera showing us your traitor ability and what you're capable of with a democratic regime standing behind you. So you think you're an empowered individual? No, you're actually a weak idiot who has no brain. For example, one little kid stands up and says, well, you didn't go to college. However, he says, I didn't learn shit in college. And then it was a big uh, buzz in the room of, oh, burned you. Um, educated with knowledge of reading books, dumb as fuck, silver spoon up your fucking ass. But I've got a million followers. A third of them are bots. I'm the future. Anything is possible. Yeah, anything's possible. If anything's possible, then you falling flat on your face is possible, isn't it? Then you losing your, your mind of schizophrenia into schizophrenia. These people are all schizophrenic, by the way. Not only are they schizophrenic, they're traitors to this country, yet they don't see that because they're delusional. They're low life. I mean, these people are the lowest of the low. Palestinians are dirt. Not in the dirt, just dirt. They're Hamas. That's a true story. They're Hamas. They're terrorists. They're rapists. They're evil. And your children, your children, are supporting them. And you don't have nothing to say about that? Not only to protect them, if you love them as much as you say you do, but to protect our country from them because you're ultimately responsible for that shit. So now everything's trickling from the bottom, which looks like the top, a complete collapse of the whole economic system. So Monavan can look erotically into Gary V's eyes and say, uh, pornography. Meanwhile, the repetition of the be kind movement is a bunch of fucking bullshit. Because you weaken the strong because the strong are good people. And you just cannot believe that someone could treat someone like this. But guess what? They are and they would and they will get worse because you just relax in conversation with them and let them speak and let them win. And let kids be kids. And then when someone says two plus two is eight, you say, well, I'll just let them think whatever they want at this point. No, that's not how fucking war works. 
That's called weakness. The fact that you're dumb ass, it's, it's amazing to me that you can't look at the dude at Starbucks who calls himself a she, shim, they. You literally are like, they. Are you a cartoon? Tough shit if you don't like the way someone's speaking to you. Grow some fucking balls called self-esteem. You all are weak as shit, and that's the truth. You use a bully system while proclaim that you're the bullied. Understand that, you'll understand training. Understand anyone who talks about themselves as a victim is not a fucking leader. Anyone who posts photography the way Motivan posts photography is nothing but a fucking whore. Anyone who dresses the way Kim Kardashian fucking dresses is a fucking slut. And a man that allows his daughter to attend a party acting and looking like that ain't a real father. A man who wants to sleep with his daughter or a daughter who wants to sleep with the father or you get confused at if they're together or not. That's some nasty shit, girl. All because he's got billions and you think you're all hot shit because your daddy had a gambling problem. Yeah, the real truth comes out, doesn't it, little girl? I'm so sweet. Yeah, you are, aren't you, you slut? You're just out to look for your celebrity partner. Maybe Landon Barker's available. No parenting skills across the board. Take a look at the slut who's dating the dude who's like the old coach of some fucking dumbass football team. How fucking nasty can that like encounter be? Fucking gross. Fucking nasty. Well, let's sit and ride bicycles and then sit on the sidelines and then we're going to talk and listen to her yap about her hair and makeup. But I'm so rich, I don't got nothing else to talk about. Gala! When I speak on stage at galas, my fiancé's up speaking at galas. While she says, wow, yeah, people in... Pencils of Promise, they could definitely use some electronics. They don't have electricity in some cases. Oh, uh, I'm a doctor. But he just keeps on keeping on, don't you, Gary V? So that you can fucking win in this fucking rat race that you fucking created with your fucking little cohorts at South by Southwest. While well, even back then, you held the door closed to individuals who had something to offer while yelling out, be kind. You don't know that these people get everything handed to them while acting like they work fucking hard. Go fucking look at the fucking content that Gary has produced since that fucking whore has entered the fucking building. Nothing but a scumbag and a snake oil salesman that literally shows up at your face every fucking day now, yet you just stand there and say, I want to be like that. I'm going to teach people how to live in an okay world and meditation, 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 Gary. Meditation is your fucking sign when he started fucking that fucking bitch and fucking me over. You have no fucking class. You have no fucking skill. You all have fucking nothing going for you. And I will do whatever it takes to expose each and every one of you for how you showed up at that apartment and showed your fucking asses, Gary V and Mona Van, while trying to violate me. Physically, emotionally, and financially, Gary V. Then you invite her to all the most important events 
so that she can stand and bask in the glory of someone who doesn't even fucking work. While you didn't have the fucking balls to stand on stage and look people in the fucking face and said that it takes hard work and effort to be successful. No, bitch. It just takes a diamond fucking ring, a contract relationship, and a fucking whore who weighs about 100 pounds. Then you just got to do a script and some bullshit fucking lie and some bullshit fucking holding hand and say how proud you are of the fucking whore. And then there she goes on her merry little way teaching ass of fucking lutely nothing. She could say that she is a fucking uh, space traveler and all you dumb fucking asses would believe that shit if Gary V agreed to it because that's how fucked up and dumb as fuck you all are. You all don't want to have real fucking conversations. You want to be fluffed ass and lied to and take no responsibility for what all of you have stood for and participated in. And it ain't just Gary Vee and his fucking whore. It's each and every one of you. And it's every viewer and influencer and any celebrity and any politician and anyone not on the internet. You are all fucking responsible. So you better take a long fucking hard look in the mirror, Gary Vee. And you too, Mona Van, with your ugly fucking Persian face. Your face is fucking garbage. Do you fucking hear me? Your body's nasty, your face is garbage, and everybody can see right through your slime shit. You are one nasty bitch inside and out. You are ugly as shit, and wow, what a special event again. You better fucking believe that every fucking chance I get, I will fucking expose your bitch asses because what I'm doing is a First Amendment right and what you're fucking doing is 100% fucking illegal, you Persian bitch. So you go ahead and flip your fucking bitch ass hair with your fake ass nails and your fake ass tits and your fake ass face. You look old as shit, by the way. Everybody ran when they saw you fucking walking in the door because that's how much they fucking hate your ass. So your personality, without my fucking help, showed you how much people hate your fucking guts. And anyone who's commented on her platform or said they liked her or agreed to that shit, I'm coming for your bitch asses too. Your businesses are going to fucking close. They're already closed, but first you want to thank Mona Van for that shit because she doesn't create successful people. She creates slaves, and you're nothing more to a slave to those motherfucking people, an irresponsible slave labor agency. So this many people succeed, and this many people fail. A world of filth and garbage of prostitution and whore behavior based on trending sluts. And that's exactly what happened at the fucking white party, you stupid prick, with your motherfucking billion dollars, you shallow fuck. Your family sucks, your businesses suck, your personalities suck, and you're weak as fuck.